Chris will illustrate a cost-effective method for using the patent process to strategically develop the business around your invention. Chris's practical and useful speech will change your view of inventing a product from no way I can't afford to do it to, hey, I could give this a shot. This down-to-earth speech is titled, A Patent is No Silver Bullet. From the Competent Communicator Project 6, Vocal Variety, please join me in welcoming Chris Coquella. money would just flood in, and my delectation over that would be tremendous. Perhaps something like this, a bottle holder. This held a large bottle of pine saw. Or a similar design. This bottle holder held a two-pack of Hershey's syrup from Costco. Used every day, Simple design, every large bottle or multi-pack needs one. When you buy it, you throw it away and you go and buy another one. That's a killer idea. <clears throat> How many of you have had an idea like this or would like an idea like that? Yeah, it's a good story, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the next step to an idea like that is to protect it protected with a patent so that others don't steal it. So you begin down that path and you find out that to file for a patent costs twenty-five to thirty-five thousand dollars at least. Most people at that point say, whoa, no way, no way man, I'm not spending thirty-five thousand dollars on something that I don't even know that I have yet. Not guaranteed a patent common scenario. Outsized dream, outsized dose of reality, no action. There's a couple things wrong with this picture though. There's two misconceptions. One is cost. You can start the patent process for maybe as little as a thousand to two thousand dollars. The second misconception <clears throat> is that it puts the focus of success and the criteria for success on the patent itself. If I get it, I fail. If I, if I get it, I'm a success. If I don't get it, I, I fail. Just like applying for a patent does not guarantee it will be awarded, being awarded a patent does not guarantee that your business will be a success. So I'd like to take you through one of my stories on an issued patent and go through those two misconceptions in a, in a practical way. This is Brackets, a building and construction toy I invented about four years ago. It's been patented, it's received a number of awards, it's a simple concept. You have a block and a connecting device that has a little channel in it. And the block fits into the channel without falling out. The novelty here is that you can put the block in the channel at any location. It's not a snap. It can go all the way in. It can go part way in. That, was what, that is what was patented. So the misconceptions, cost, first one. I've started the patent process by filing a provisional patent for $1,500. Now a provisional patent is not as formal as a full patent, therefore it costs less to file and write. But it did three things for me. It po postponed 
the fees I had to pay to file the full patent. The next phase would be five to $10,000. The second thing it did for me was it gave me a filing date, a legal document and a date that locks down when I invented this product. Anyone that comes after is too late. And the third thing, one of the most important things is, is it allows me to go out and talk about my invention. I have a year before the full patent needs to be filed, but I can go talk freely with customers, suppliers, manufacturers. Second misconception. Back to all I need is a patent. I'll file it, I'll wait until I get it awarded, and then I'll either be a success or a failure. Now if I'd waited for that, it would have been three years later, and $35,000 later, and I would be no closer to knowing if this was going to be a successful product or not. So instead of waiting those three years and squandering that one year window between the beginning of the provisional filing and the full patent filing, I went out and asked questions. Questions that would help me build a business around this product. Things like, who are my customers? Do they like my product? Does, do I get a wow factor from them? Will stores sell it? Do they see the possibility? How many of those people are there? And then most importantly, can I make it for a cost that if I sell it at a fair and reasonable price, I can still make money? Or perhaps my partner or an investor could make money? Notice that none of those questions have anything to do with a patent. They have to do with you, the inventor, the business person, and the business you are going to build around your product. A patent is no silver bullet. But at the same time, the next time you have your killer idea, don't be put off by the patent process. And don't be lured in by the silver bullet idea. Just go out, file a provisional, and answer the questions you need to answer. Thank you.